Hi, in this video I will show you how to set up and work with Smart Tool in our new labeling toolbox. Let's start. Before we can start using the tool, we need to have an annotation class for the type of annotation we are going to create, hence this class creation window pops up. Let's annotate our object. First we need to create a bounding box around it. As you can see, we already have a positive point in the center of a bounding box and we already have a prediction. To make things easier to see, let's tone down the opacity at the annotation settings bar. To zoom in and out, you can use the scroll wheel and you can hold right click to pan around. To improve the predictions, we can place positive and negative points. The hotkeys are on the screen. To finish creating the object, press spacebar. The resulting annotation is mask, so it can be modified using tools that work with masks, namely brush and mask pen tool. And now we can simply start annotating another object. Looks good. Now let's annotate this dog. Changing and creating annotation classes can be done in this drop down menu. Also, while creating a class, you can assign a hotkey to it. And if you want to quickly change the annotation class of an existing object, you can just right click on it. Here also you can delete the object and hide it. Besides changing the opacity of objects field, annotation settings bar has a lot of cool features. For example, you can toggle the object's meta information, randomize objects instances colors, and change scene display parameters like brightness, contrast, and gamma. Smart Tool differs from our other annotation tools, as it doesn't annotate out of the box. Instead, it is customizable, and it requires a neural network to be deployed on your device in order for it to start making predictions. So, you might ask, how do we deploy a model? Deploying a model is simple. You need to head to the neural networks page inside the start menu, then under Image section, select Interactive Segmentation category. And here you need to choose one of the neural networks presented in the SURF subcategory. The next step is to run it, but we need to do this specifically on our device which needs to have a graphics card. If you are yet to connect your computer as an agent, we have videos to guide you through this process both for Windows and Unix based operating systems. In my case I chose ClickSec, so it is deployed by default. And right in the application, I can configure some inference parameters. After the model is deployed, we can go back to the labeling toolbox. Sometimes, when working with specific industrial data, basic pre-trained models simply doesn't cut it. They are simply not designed to work well in these scenarios. In this case, the best bet is to train a custom model. And if you are interested in that, we have a blog post that breaks it down so anybody can follow. The link is in the description. Here is a sneak peek of how this difference looks on a real data. And also we have a functionality to alternate between deployed models right in the labeling toolbox, which I will show in a second. Now I will show how to deploy a custom model. First, we need to head over to the team files, where the custom weight is stored after training. After we have found our file, we need to right click on it and copy its path. Now. Let's go to the Neural Networks page, go into the Interactive Segmentation category and run the model which the weight is trained on. Then I can select Custom Model Mode and paste the path into the corresponding window. To make things more convenient for us, let's name the subsession so that we can distinguish it better later. Now let's simply run the app. Here we have the application logs, we can close them. Back in the toolbox. Right beneath the Smart Tool, we can select the model that we need. And here we have them, our custom model we just deployed and the ClickSec we deployed earlier. That is it for this video. If you have some questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.